So with regards to kind of teaching teenagers and, and high school kids, where do you think the most important elements of, of development are across technical, tactical, physical, mental, and then how do you kind of balance your focus on that as a coach across the season? Yeah, I mean, that's definitely sort of a, a long question because, you know, every area is the most important, if I'm honest. You know, it's, there's not one area you can say, because if you've got one weakness at a high level, the technical, mental, physical, tactical is going to get shown up. So, you know, I do think I see a lot of players that technically maybe don't focus on that too much at an early stage and then they get to under 17s, under 19s where it becomes really apparent that those technical flaws are going to come out and then they struggle. So, you know, for me, coaches need to sort of see that like happening ahead of time and not worry about success at too early an age and, and know that, you know, that technique will break down at, at some point. Um, a little difficult over here because players are often it's a time frame where they're trying to get ready for their junior year to get recruited and it's not like it is in the UK or maybe Egypt where you're trying to get them to be the best player they can be by the time they're an adult so I understand the difficulties with that but I the frustration can be sometimes that te the technical side is, is not really, really looked into enough um, the mental side becomes as the game is getting stronger here the differences in the top 30 players in the country is not very much anymore especially under 17 under 19 so the mental side is a huge part of it and um, you know helping them with that process um, you know and then the tactical goes alongside with that you know learning to adapt and play and you know, as, I, as I mentioned before I feel one thing area that players need to do a lot better of is watching high level squash you and I Jethro grew up watching players like watching pros and tried to copy them and emulate them and there's not that much access to it here, but you know, with through Squash TV and stuff, there is the opportunity and something I encourage players to do, and I think that will help them hugely. It's certainly something in England, players in Egypt, they do a lot more, and I think uh, something we need to do a better job of.